You're the sheriff. I'm the sheriff. And your name is David Holliver. I want you to give me your name and your stuff. Then I wanted to make sure you saw my blinker. Make I, I Welcome to U.S. Corrupt Cops. In our latest video, we'll delve into four alarming cases where corrupt officers escalate and retaliate during routine traffic stops. Join us by subscribing, liking, and sharing the video to spread awareness and demand justice. If you like this video, press 1. On February 4th, 2021, Quinn made a brief trip to a nearby convenience store from his residence when he was pulled over by Officer Shipley of the San Bernardino Police Department. The officer claims Quinn was speeding a detail to bear in mind as it becomes significant. Within five seconds of approaching Quinn and before activating his body camera, Officer Shipley tries to open the driver's side door. Fortunately, body-worn cameras capture footage 30 seconds prior to activation. Finding the door locked, the officer requests Quinn's driver's license while Quinn begins searching for it and questioning the reason for the stop. How you doing? Is there a reason why you guys are pulling me over? Yeah, you were speeding. I wasn't speeding. What's, speeding. what's the emergency, sir? I'm not running over there. Like, we're not going to play these games with you. I'm That's not going to play now. I just want to know what the emergency I'm is, sir. I'm for speeding. I was okay, not speeding. Do you have on you? Here, I'll give you my information. Yeah. You want probation or parole? I'm going to give you my information, sir. Hold on. I'm not committing any crime. I just want to know why, why, do you, why do you guys have your emergency lights on? What's the emergency? I just told you. You're being, you're being stopped because you were speeding. Are you recording this, please? Yes, we are recording. You are record recording? Everything. License registration, please. Within 20 seconds of the initial request for a driver's license, Quinn swiftly retrieves his information, as depicted in both the cell phone footage and the body cameras of both officers. He promptly hands his information to Officer Shipley, who then places it on the roof of the vehicle. Yeah, here's your information, sir. I got you right here. Hey, sir, I don't like you reaching around. I'm just I'm going to ask you to step out of the Officer Shipley initially requested Quinn's documents, but now he's suddenly concerned that Quinn might be searching for them. This is despite the fact that Officer Robinson is now on the passenger side, observing Quinn's actions. Unfortunately, the order to exit the vehicle is lawful. Quinn initially refuses, driven by fear. However, after 23 seconds of dialogue with the officer, he agrees to comply and exit the vehicle. Here, I'm not, I don't want to step out of the vehicle because no, I feel you, like I'm under arrest. I'm going to have you step out of the vehicle. I don't, Listen, I'm, either step out of the vehicle, I'm going to break the glass. Can you please have your watch commander show no, up? step out of the vehicle. I would now, like sir. to have your watch commander show up, please, sir. Don't break my window. I'm please, please right now, sir, don't break my window. Vehicle, I'm step recording this for my own safety. I'm, I'm under arrest. Please do not break my window. I didn't commit a crime. Step out of the vehicle. Sir, I did not commit a crime. I would step out under arrest, please. I'll step out under okay. arrest. Please step out. I will, please. Please do not hurt me. You're, I'm fearful for my life and my safety. Okay? It's scary. I'm giving you three seconds, sir. If you don't step out of the vehicle now, I'm going to break the glass and you're going to get it pulled out. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it right now. Sir, one. I'm allowed to be pulled. One. Sir. Quinn once more complies, exiting the vehicle, but he pauses briefly to ensure his video is recording. As we've witnessed countless times on this channel, obtaining body cam footage can be challenging, whereas personal recordings are not only permissible, but also readily accessible without a court order. If an officer assures you not to worry because they're recording, bear in mind that they were also recording Jeffrey Epstein's cell. Officer Shipley instructs Quinn to exit the vehicle within three seconds, warning of forcible removal otherwise. The officer begins counting, reaching one before shattering the glass. I need three seconds, sir. If you don't step out of the vehicle now, I'm going to break the glass and get it pulled out. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it right now. Sir, one. I'm allowed to be pulled. One. Sir. Whoa! Good shit. Coming around you. Officer Robinson's reaction to the forcible entry and attack on Quinn is a terse good before he adds, Coming around to you, bud. He then proceeds to move slowly around to the driver's side while they continue to assault Quinn. You good shit? Coming around to you, bud. You're, you're hurting me, sir. Stop resisting. Please. Step out. I'm not Quinn was in a situation where he got seriously hurt, including head injuries, cuts, and broken elbows during an interaction with a cop. In a video, the cop appeared to be smiling while taking Quinn in, which got people wondering about his motives. 
Quinn didn't get ticketed for speeding, which was why he was pulled over, but instead he's facing charges like assaulting a cop and resisting arrest. California law, Penal Code 69, deals with crimes against cops, specifying penalties for violence towards them, and the legality of filming them in public. Quinn denies violently resisting arrest and thinks filming the incident might have saved his life. He's lodged complaints and is pursuing legal action. Where do you want me to sit? Sit here. Oh, you got to scan him. Okay. Okay. Never seen it. She's chewing on her own window glass right now. Six seats. Okay. We'll get you treated, get you taken care of. Of all my years, and I deal with law problems. You ain't gonna go to law school, man. Mm -hmm. And to sit here and have people. Who wants to sit here? And to have people. I plan on working with you this week. Answer, answer your questions, okay? Oh, it's Do you have any cars for the bread? I don't have any. I need COVID symptoms. Okay, I can ask all the questions, okay? Not yes, the common area. No, ma'am. Anybody ain't talking to you? The only body I have is what was inflicted on me by the police. Sore throat, runny nose? No, ma'am. Fever, chills? No, I think my elbow's broken up. What are your thoughts on this case? Please comment below to share. Next up, we're diving into a video from a YouTube channel called Joe Mama. We're going to see what happens when police officers get upset because you assert your rights or refuse to let them take advantage of you. The driver in this situation was asked to step out of the vehicle for questioning the officer's authority, at least that's how they perceived it. However, the driver had a valid point. You pulled me over for using my blinkers early, and you found that suspicious. That's not against the law. We need to reach a point where we educate and inform officers about what the law actually entails. There's no need for extensive analysis of this video. I think we can all agree that signaling before a turn is perfectly legal and asking officers questions is within our rights. This video serves as an illustration of how authoritarian figures react when they feel their authority is being challenged. Remember folks, hold them accountable, stay safe, and until next time, this is Wheatley People University signing off. Good. Ten pulse. Did you have a job as a specialist insurance card? Do you know you guys pulled me over in the same exact spot three days in a row? Really? Three yep. days in a row. I was unaware of that. And now you're going to give me a warning, too. Let me guess. My license plate, right? The no. little thing on the bottom? No, absolutely not. What, what, what happened? Put your blinker on when there was nowhere to turn. Well, that's because I saw you there, and I wanted to make sure you saw my blinker making I, I the left. I thought you got nervous. So you no, because no, yesterday yeah, he nervous. said we didn't okay. use I the blinker. Right, I need to see your driver's list. Register, I am insurance, nervous. Insurance, I'm nervous please, and I'm you. pissed off. That's this what is I harassment. I hope you know that. It is harassment. You guys sit here. Don't you know guys, you. Well, you do know don't me know because you. here's another guy here yesterday, three days in a row. Why would you both pull up on me like this? Okay. My son came to get surgery, man. Right. I'm glad you got me on video because I have a video camera in the car, too. Yeah, but that's Good. fine. So then you guys know that you did this three days in a row. How would I know? I don't because know you. got you. cameras. I wasn't the officer that stopped you. Got you. So is this your procedure? Thank Come you. Come on. Come on, man. Perfect. Fucking disgusting. Is this your sergeant? I'd like to see your sergeant. Do you have another insurance card? Yeah, I'm sure I do. This isn't my car, it's this my grandmother's. Your officer ran it yesterday and it was go. fine. You can take that. Hey, can I have your sergeant present, please? Please? Three days in a row, you, you guys got you on do camera. Do me a favor, step out of the car. Since I'm you're gonna, gonna, you're gonna keep out of the He's car. asking for your sergeant. Step out, of the step out of the car. Oh, are you kidding me? Step out. Are you step kidding me car, right man. now? On what premise? On what premise? I'm being violated right now. My Fourth Amendment right is being violated right now. My Fourth Amendment right, my Fourth Amendment right is being violated. You're in front of my son. You're going to be placed under arrest. For what? Resisting? Yes. Step out of the vehicle. I'm resisting an arrest. That you're about to. Now you're about to harass me now. Who are you? Here for my lawyer. This is harassment. Do I know you? Do I know you? I don't care if you know me. Um, I feel threatened. I don't right know you. Now. I don't I know you. Where's threatened? your three proofs of ID? Oh, really? Your three my proofs, proofs right here. I need more. That's my I need proof. more. Where's your Where's your driver's license? You know what? What? what I, I know. Lot. I know my. Listen, I you know, know your right. So yes, I know I you're do. an attorney. I know. How do you know I'm not? How do you know I'm oh, not? Oh, you are. Do you have ID on you? You have ID on you. I do have ID. I'm in. Well, uh, I'm in a. I'm in a market. Three days in a row. If you were pulled over in the same spot and harassed while your son had. I don't know you. I don't care if you know me. You're. Well, I'm telling you, I don't know you. You work for us. Is this your son? How old? That is my son. 
You're gonna, you're gonna, gonna do absolutely. that? Absolutely. Right First front of, of all, of my son? grandfather was a chief of police, retired. My uncles are in the village. I don't know who you are. But you sitting there and harassing people where as you, they're coming off the where highway? You, where are you coming from? Today? Why do I have to answer your questions? You don't. Absolutely. You don't, you don't, I don't. want to answer? Don't answer. You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind that you harass people. Yeah, you know what? Here's all of her stuff. No, you find it. What are you kidding me? You find your insurance. You find your insurance. You find your insurance. You find your insurance. You should be ashamed of yourself. That's what you should do. What do you got to meet your quota? Yeah, quota. Come on, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, really? Yeah. You should? Really? You should? Okay. You think I don't know my fucking human rights? You pull me out of my car and harass me right now? You got your mind? You have that on your what car. are you laughing at? It's not my car! It, it is your car. You're no, driving I, no, it. No, but it's not my car. You are driving the it's vehicle. It's not my car. All the car. tickets for that are going to go to you. I don't give a shit. Okay. I obviously get harassed every time I come up to here by you guys. So where, where's your sergeant? That's what I want on the scene right now. Unfortunately, you're not the dictator. You don't say what you're, you You're want. not a dictator either. You right? work for so us. Shut your mouth before you get locked up. <laughs> yeah. Do what he says. Do what he says, and we'll handle this. Don't you worry about it. Very close. I'm upset. Do you understand? That? I understand you're upset, but I don't know. I, you don't understand. I didn't know who you were before I stopped you. Okay, I didn't know you were stopped two times prior. Doesn't it doesn't doesn't and you stopped him for putting his blinker on before before we made the left where there was nowhere to turn because your officer said yesterday that I didn't do it so the second I saw you I put my blinker on to make sure it didn't happen again well thank you for not doing your job properly oh well no, thank they you. They tell the situation, but you're I getting did. all hyped no, up. No, you weren't here when you pulled up. Okay, on me. well, you're it's getting on this, camera. It's you on probably camera. would have been on your way by now. But I'm pissed okay. off. Okay, okay. he's in a row. So, my son so, having surgery, and I have to bring him back. Just tell him. He didn't tell him that. He did tell him that. He did tell him that. He did tell him that. And he ignored me. I don't know. He ignored us, and we told him that. You're getting tough and aggressive because you're pissed off. But I can't get tough and aggressive. Exactly. Write me all the fake tickets you want. I, I respect you I, and I, I love it. Listen, three days in a row, I like know, I said, my, I, uncle, I didn't know my cousin stopped. died on 9 11. He was the Port Authority I know, cop. But you're not letting me my, speak. Because I'm upset. I know, you, but you I never didn't had know. a bad day. Didn't know. I understand. You had a bad day. No problem. You understand? And then, and, then I have, and then I have him bucking up. When the both of you are in uniform and he's a bolt aggressive towards somebody, not aggressive towards you. that's aggravating. And it's assault it's because you have a gun. I have it recorded, sir. I have it recorded. Because I have a gun? I'm, I'm a and you're both in costume. And you're both in costume. Yes. Yes. Don't tell me I don't know this, the law. You're, you're telling me, am I a lawyer? We're, we're in costumes. This is a uniform. Yeah, but you're disrespecting it by disrespect by pulling out because I look nervous. I understand you have a job to do. Because the past two days that you pulled me over, that was the gentleman's response. Officer, I'm sorry. I had a bad day. I had a bad day. I'll take that. I had a bad day. What, I, what I'm saying is practice a little more discretion with people sometimes, especially this boy here. Well, he, 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 he practiced discretion. Now we got pissed off. He came up to me and threatened to put me in handcuffs. You gotta understand. You're not allowed to speak. There's no freedom of speech. Speak. And then you, and then you take my... Also. That's true. I'll give you chance. That's right. But then you take my Fourth Amendment rights away and you pull me out of a vehicle. Because of the way you're acting. Because I'm pissed right? off. Are you hiding something? I don't know. But that, see, then you become right. a detective. No. Yeah, yeah I, I was a detective, yes. Okay. Yes. But now you're not. Now, you, now you're in uniform. I just came out of the detective bureau. But now you're in uniform, sir. Right. My job is to find out what you're doing and why you're doing it. I'm leaving the and, doctor's and office with my son, and I, and I didn't do anything right, wrong. Take care. I will. What are your thoughts on this case? Please comment below to share. On September 2022, let's check it out and see what went down. Oh, and just FYI, the guy behind the wheel is driving his employer's work truck, and the employer is chilling in his own truck parked right beside him. So, two cops stroll up to the car, one on each side, while the employer sits nearby keeping an eye on things. Apparently, the reason for this traffic stop was some issue with the work truck's reverse lights acting up or something like that. Well, how are you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Do me a favor, put it in park. I am. And come here, let me show you something. I know the reverse light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dude, he yes. ordered a sensor, that's my boss right sensor? there. Sensor, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a reverse yeah, you light sensor. Uh, can't shoot white light rear, you got something going on. Yeah, sometimes they come on, sometimes they, yeah, there's they like flash. flash and, mm -hmm. The main police officer conducting this stop is really impressive. He's a super nice guy, very professional, 
and he isn't causing any problems at all. Throughout the upcoming interaction, you'll see him actively de-escalating the situation, trying to offset the negative impact caused by the other police officer. Keep an eye out for the moment when the other officer approaches the passenger side window, notices the occupant filming, and reacts to it. I want to record and make sure you smile for his camera. Huh? There you go. Get me on that, bro. All right. right. Is there anything wrong with recording? I don't care. Record it. I am. Hey, we're going to ride your truck and probably tour because your taillights is messed up on. Does your boy want to be smart on here? Have I been smart at all? No. Okay. You have your driver's license. I do. <laughs> just, just so you can know, tell him I haven't been smart at all. Okay. I'll let him know. This is why we record, as a matter of fact. Exactly why we record. Okay. Alright. You have your insurance card, Mr. Osborne? He's my boss right there. Okay. I'm he Please let him know nobody said anything smart. Did I I didn't even mention it? Right. Okay. So the individual who was pulled over here is being polite and cooperative as he should be. The police officer conducting the traffic stop, who had a legitimate and reasonable suspicion of a traffic or equipment violation to initiate the stop, is also being polite to the individual he stopped. The only person causing a problem is Officer Brown. He is upset that filming is taking place as some police officers dislike being filmed, he is aware that the individual's employer is sitting next to him in the truck and threatens retaliation by informing the employer that their employee is being smart. Consequently, the employer may receive a ticket for the work truck, falsely attributed to the employee's behavior. The employee calmly informs the primary police officer that he needs to clarify that he is not being smart, to which the officer agrees, acknowledging that the individual is not misbehaving. Uh, this this card is actually expired. Do you have a you have up to date one? This one expired uh, twenty one. I don't even ever get this stuff out. So now the employee who got stopped is attempting to locate all the necessary documents you're supposed to provide to police officers when they pull you over, and Officer Brown is still there visibly urging the other officer to issue a ticket just to get back at him for filming. You know where your insurance card is? Oh, you, that's your boss. Yeah. Got it in uh, here? Man, right? We are yeah. Uh, the guy in the passenger seat. Does he have it in here? Huh? You don't have it in here? Uh, he's We're got looking for it, sir. Uh, don't waste time. Go ahead and write him a ticket for it. I'll be right back before, huh? I'm glad we recorded all of this. For tyrants just like that. Got your nerve all worked up now. Huh? No, it's, it's all outdated. Here's your license back. You All right, insurance. thank you. I'm going to give you a break on not having the insurance, okay? Okay, I've got the car. You got right it here. now? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a warning on that. You're supposed to have that whenever we stop you, okay? Okay. 
I'm gonna write you a citation for the lights. lights. Okay. Now look, that's a fix it ticket. You can get that fixed as long as you get it fixed right. within 72 hours and mm -hmm. take it up to the police department and have an officer inspect it and sign off. Right, okay. And then it'll be just the court and I'll take care of it. Okay? No problem. All right, okay. you have any questions for me? His name and badge number. I want you to give me your name and your stuff too. So You've already you got it. Too. What's your name and badge? Uh, it's your yeah. policy. Officer Brown. And that badge number? It's Officer Brown. Badge That's number? That's all you need. Your policy That's is? That's all you need. Your policy? My policy ain't to give you badge anything, and I gave you what you needed. Go read Officer your policy. Brown. Go I read, read your policy. No, you don't, obviously, because so, you, you know day, you're sir. supposed to identify to the public when you come in contact. That's your policy. The cops, because he's a, he's a tyrant. He's a tyrant. Sure That's why we, I am, right. but we record them because right. of cops like well, you, him. You don't have to you're, you're a tyrant, sir, and you will be going viral. Well, please do. All right. Thank you, sir, for your viral opportunity. In this situation, a person filed a complaint against Officer Brown with their employer over a traffic stop incident. The employer looked into it and admitted, Officer Brown had a bad attitude but didn't find any other wrongdoing. The person believes there's no problem with the Fourth Amendment regarding the stop's legality but argues there's a First Amendment issue. They claim Officer Brown's actions, especially retaliating against someone filming the stop, violate their First Amendment rights. They say Officer Brown's threat to the person's employer, knowing they were present, suggests retaliation for exercising their First Amendment rights. They suggest this could lead to a lawsuit under Section 1983 for First Amendment retaliation and want to discuss others' opinions on the matter. Our last video is from News Now Abilene, where the elected sheriff of Haskell County, Texas, pulled them over. He seems to believe that he has the authority to stop anyone at any time, for any reason or for no reason at all, and legally ask for identification. Good morning. Good morning. Looking for a white van that's northbound, possibly in the northbound, I mean the southbound lane. Y'all see anything like that? Uh-uh. Those days reported back to Roadside Park and caused the bound. Where from? Stanford. Hmm. Well, we just came from Holly. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't see any white van other than ours. <laughs> Right, we got a report of one going northbound, southbound lane. Northbound in the southbound lane. Yeah, oh, wow. Well, that was not us. That was not yeah. us. <laughs> you didn't observe that with us, did you? Where <laughs> y'all headed? Well, I'm sure curious why you pulled us over. Yeah. Looking for a white van. Going well, you northbound. found a white van. Yeah. But we weren't in the... We weren't in the southbound lane going northbound. I understand that. So I was still I curious why you pulled us over. Yeah. Legally pulled us over. Looking for a white van, you could have changed over. Yeah, but you can't just pull us over because you suspect us as being a white Make van. Make sure that it wasn't y'all. All right. Well, it wasn't us. So if you have any other yeah. reason to believe it was us, you can continue. Otherwise, we'd like to be on our way. Let me just say, I don't think it was inappropriate at all for the sheriff to go ahead and check on these people. Maybe they had been traveling in the wrong direction on the road, or there could have been some type of medical emergency. I think it's good that he checked on them. However, after just a few seconds of interaction, it's clear that everyone in the van is okay. It's also clear that the sheriff didn't witness anything illegal or even any civil driving infractions. Therefore, a consensual encounter is acceptable, but a detainment is not. Any other reason to believe it was us, you can continue. Otherwise, we'd like to be on our way. Uh, I'd still like to see an ID. I don't think legally... Uh, legally, I can. You didn't legally pull us over. So, okay. Just to clarify, he did mention that I can legally request an ID, just as anyone can approach another person on the street and ask for their ID. However, the person you ask isn't obliged to provide it. What's your badge number? I'm 72. I'm you just you didn't show me a badge, just so you know. I don't see a badge. I see it. Anybody could have that uniform on. Do you have a supervisor that you yeah, can call? I'm supervisor. I'm not sure if I have. So you should know, sure, that you can't pull us over. Okay, what's your badge? You're the sheriff. I'm the sheriff. And your name is? David Halliburton. David Halliburton. Yes, well, sir. David, we didn't break any law. I know that. And I understand. On the other hand, I can legally ask for an ID. Not in Texas. Yes, sir. Because you have to lawfully pull us over. I lawfully pull Joe. Okay, David, I want you to know I'm going to follow through with the attorneys on this. So I want you to be Go very right clear. Ahead. 
If you if you violate her Fourth Amendment right right now, that's a constitution. You have. Just stop alone is a violation. Why don't you just let us go down the road? Why don't you let us continue? This this isn't the van you're looking for. I can legally ask questions. You can legally ask, but just stop itself is illegal. David, the stop's illegal, and you know this. Stop's legal. It's illegal. Did you observe us doing something illegal? Being a white man's not illegal, sir. Stop. You're not gonna like this. Believe me. Show him your ID because now he knows his his qualified immunity is gone right now. He knows he didn't pull us over for a valid reason. In this scenario, the person is talking about how they would handle a situation where a sheriff is asking questions and requesting ID. They think it's important to make the sheriff explicitly state any threats or unlawful orders before cooperating. They suggest asking the sheriff what they'll do if ID isn't provided, emphasizing the importance of making sure any potential threats are clearly stated before giving in to what seems like intimidation tactics. ID because now he knows his, his qualified immunity is gone right now. He knows he didn't pull us over for a valid reason. Being a white van? Give him your ID. This is a violation of her constitutional rights right now. No. Yes, it is, sir. Still living in Holly. Sir, she's not going to answer any questions. This is exactly what we talk about all the time, isn't it, guys? Yes. This is exactly what we discussed. A white van, not observed doing anything, and here we are. There you go, man. Are we free to go? There go. Thank you, sir. This scenario questions the sense behind cops always asking for ID from people. It points out how it doesn't really make sense. Seeing someone's ID doesn't suddenly make any suspicion disappear. The practice is slammed for being both illegal and not making much sense. It's argued that constantly asking for ID could slowly chip away at people's rights and make them more willing to go along with unjustified requests from authority figures. It's like wearing people down over time until they just give in and comply without questioning. Just trying to figure out where you're going, you know. We're going about our business lawfully and legally, well, like we always are. Fine. All right, well, you'll be hearing from us, sir. Right, fine. Thank you. Be safe, please. What are your thoughts on this case? Please comment below to share. Thank you for tuning into our video highlighting four cases where corrupt cops escalate and retaliate at traffic stops. You are an essential part of the fight for justice and transparency. Please subscribe to our channel, like, and share this video to spread the message and encourage action against police corruption and violence. Let's work together to create a fairer and safer society for everyone. Thank you for your support.